Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to talk about how to receive online payments using Stripe step by step. In the previous videos on this channel you could easily see how you can create an account with, uh, with Stripe. It's really really easy and uh, to be honest it's completely for free. You don't even have to address the credit card for that particular task uh, you want to do so uh, obviously you will need your credit card for activation of the whole account and you need to add a bank for example in here uh, to activate payments in this particular case i haven't actually filled in yet or i'm not even planning to because of uh, the video so i don't really want you guys even though I trust you, I don't really feel like I should share my IBAN since I'm from uh, Slovakia. So I don't really feel like filling this one up. But I believe you can manage and fill it yours without recording it on the video. So once you activate your account and once you activate the payments, we can actually go to the payments on or inside of your Stripe workspace, which is second left option. Here we have these payments. We have all payments, disputes, all transactions. So first thing uh, we have here, share a link to checkout page or create a payment link. This is quite a thing that you can, you can use, then manually uh, charge a customer Invoice customer, use hosted payment UI, build a custom payment UI, or charge customers in person. They are using Jobber, which I also created a few videos about, but we are going to talk mainly about create a payment link or create a payment. Then we want to click on create a payment link. Inside in here, we have the preview of what will our customers see. So let's say you sold them some, I don't know, like teaching lessons or tutoring as I did before, but uh, we can add a new one. It's a product or subscription or customers choose what to pay. We want to go with payment page, product, we can add a new product which uh, uh, we can uh, we can name that's uh, another problem let's go with uh, mm -mm -mm. creating creation nah. give me something guys let's go with uh, th th I don't really know. Let's go tutorial. You name it yourself. Description. Uh, uh, uh. Tutorial. Let's go like this. YouTube tutorial Stripe. Price will be 50 euros. You can obviously change. Uh, you can change the currency. You can add more currencies or one time or recurring monthly let's go with one time and add a product in here you see that uh, we have uh, a tutorial option and we have quantity we can go with two if you go with two obviously it will change margin to 100 but i want to go with just with one and we can add another product for example tutoring for 200 so everything will be shown inside of uh, the preview. You can also check how it's gonna look on uh, on a mobile phone. This is really, really great. And uh, options, call a customer's address. We can go with this one. Require customers to provide phone number or add a custom fields where you can just ask them or um, 
ask them anything like rate our services or something like that. Then we have advanced options, allowed promotion codes, if you want to, if uh, he has some kind of uh, promo code that you gave them, for example, to get 10% off or free shipping or anything like that, you can use it. Uh, allow customers to provide uh, tax IDs and save payment. Uh, 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 as the call to action, pay will be our option or book or donate. Obviously, if it's donate, it's taxless or tax free. Okay, we have everything this uh, of this uh, setup and click to create a link. Here we have the link, we can copy it and uh, try it if it actually works. So here it is. Ideal GiroPay, we have a couple of other options. You have to add your cards. You have to add the email, name on the card and tons and tons of options already in here. You have uh, Google Pay, that's one thing that is really nice. And uh, payment methods, you see that all the methods is here. We can manage all the methods. Activation is required, yes, I have to, rec uh, I have to activate this account to actually ask for payment. And we can also use uh, Klarna, uh, Klarna, Afterpay, SEPA debit card. We have a tons of options, that's really, really nice. And uh, once we're in here, we have the link, just copy paste, copy paste the link or get the QR code to scan to pay. And uh, this is really, really nice thing to do. Really nice thing to do, tips for using your link. You have the preview in here. And uh, that's about it. So end game of this uh, payment or how to um, ask for payment is actually once you copy uh, once you copy the link you send it to your customer or you can add a QR code and uh, you can download the image and uh, the person on the opposite side of uh, uh, of, uh, of you or all opposite side of the computer will get a link he will take his mobile phone or tablet or whatever and just scan the QR code and you are good to go. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any types of questions, please let me know underneath this video and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.